explorers, experts, and, on occasion, regular people make incredible discoveries every single day. Sometimes, we don't hear about some of the ones that go under the radar discovered under ordinary circumstances by ordinary people. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three fascinating discoveries. The Appearance and Disappearance of the Great Dark Spot on Neptune Dark spots on planets are not uncommon. In fact, Jupiter's Great Red Spot is one of the most well-documented planetary features next to Saturn's rings. Neptune has its own set of features, including a set of dark spots, the largest of which was dubbed the Great Dark Spot, or GDS-89. Upon its discovery in 1989 by the Voyager 2 space probe, these dark spots are not characteristics of the planet's crust, but rather the result of large anticyclonic storms forming in the atmosphere. Anticyclonic storms are cases where winds rotate in the opposite direction of the rotation above a low pressure region. However, in the case of Neptune, these anticyclonic systems are formed in a relatively cloud-free interior and have been documented to disappear and reappear in cycles several years in length, meaning that the surface of Neptune generally only has a great dark spot about half of its life. This is in contrast to Jupiter's famed anticyclonic red spot, which has been in place for hundreds of years. Although anticyclonic storms occur regularly, albeit briefly on Earth, the great spot occurs with much larger proportions. The first time that it was observed, GDS-89 had a slightly elliptical shape that was around the same size as our entire planet with winds recorded at speeds over 2,100 km per hour, the fastest winds ever recorded in the solar system. Although it is not certain what is causing these storms of enormous proportions, Scientists believe that it is likely a hole in the methane cloud deck of the planet. Unfortunately, the great dark spot still remains rather mysterious, largely due to an inability to get a close inspection of it. The primary way that GDS-89 is viewed is through the Hubble Space Telescope, and even then, it is incredibly difficult to get a good view of it. After its discovery in 1989, it wasn't until 1991 that the Hubble Space Telescope was in a position to see it again, and this time scientists were shocked to discover that GDS-89 had completely disappeared. Although later in 1994, an orbit by the Hubble photographed the appearance of a similar dark spot that could have been the original GDS-89. Although scientists are not entirely sure why it disappeared, they theorize that it either dissipated entirely due to migrating too close to the equator, or it could have been covered by other atmospheric clouds and was still in existence, just out of view. The surface of Neptune is covered in high clouds made of methane ice crystals dense enough to cover and cast shadows on a lower cloud layer made of ammonia or hydrogen sulfide. There may also be several more layers that could not have been studied below these meaning that the conditions and weather patterns of the cloudy planet could very well have been hiding the great dark spot just below the cloud cover all along. Regardless, the spot was not seen again until 2016, when another spot emerged, but this time in Neptune's northern hemisphere. This spot, dubbed the northern great dark spot, appeared nearly identical to the initial great dark spot, and has been visible in all attempts to photograph it since then. Although an opportunity for viewing the northern great dark spot has not presented itself in several years, making it uncertain as to whether it is still there or not. The universe stretches so much further than our own insignificant little Milky Way, and although scientists have no idea exactly what lies hidden beyond the reaches of our telescopes and satellites, the more that comes to light about the strange forces that govern space, the more we can understand the world beyond our atmosphere. All that we can do is seek to understand as much as we can about our surroundings and slowly uncover the mystery that is space. Ice Age Art Discovered in Amazon Rainforest What experts are calling the Sistine Chapel of the Ancients has recently been discovered in the depths of the Amazon Rainforest in Colombia. Spanning almost eight miles of cliff faces, 
the paintings make up the largest collection of prehistoric rock paintings to be discovered, and as they are over 12,000 years old, can tell experts a lot of valuable information about what life was like for the artists of the day. The humans that painted these images were one of the first humans to inhabit the jungle-dense area and painted the life around them and that life was totally unlike the jungle of today. Depicting long extinct animals such as the mastodon, which hasn't roamed the earth for at least 12,000 years, the paleolama, the camelid, giant sloths and ancient ice age horses, as well as animals that are far more familiar to modern man like fish, turtles, lizards and birds. People dancing and wearing elaborate masks, as well as handprints and designs, also feature prominently in the cliff drawings. The paintings were discovered by a British Columbian team led by Jose Iriati, a professor of archaeology at Exeter University who was blown away by the sheer size and area of the paintings, which number in at least the tens of thousands. Iriati has described the experience of getting such a glimpse into the way the world looked over 12 millennia ago by saying, we started seeing animals that are now extinct. The pictures are so natural and so well made that we have few doubts that you're looking at a horse, for example. The Ice Age horse had a wild, heavy face. It's so detailed we can even see the horse hair. It's fascinating. Although it's not clear whether the paintings were sacred in nature, Iriati believes that they do depict humans worshipping or performing rituals around some of the larger animals. The paintings also contain indications that the topography of what is now a dense rainforest jungle was much different when large mastodons roamed the area. Based off of initial impressions and the resources that would have been needed to sustain such enormous life, researchers believe that what is now choked with trees and vines once resembled more of a savanna ecosystem. Discovery of the paintings relied on penetration into an area of the rainforest that had previously been hostile territory as FARC guerrillas, who had been engaged in a long-standing civil war with the Colombian government, controlled the area and nobody dared to risk entering. However, after long periods of careful negotiation, the team was able to brave the region for exploration and found such an amazing hidden gem that one can only wonder what other clues lie hidden behind that tangle of vines. Robots debate the future of humanity Lifelike robots are the feature of many hit movies, but these are becoming reality. In 2017, two lifelike robots named Han and Sophia debated the future of humanity at a technology conference called RISE in Hong Kong. Han is a custom character robot developed by Hansen Robotics. He was activated in 2015 and debuted at the Global Sources Electronics Fair in Hong Kong that same year. Sophia was also developed by Hansen Robotics and is currently the company's most advanced human-like robot that was activated in 2016. Sophia is the first robot citizen and first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program and has appeared on multiple TV shows as well as conferences. In 2017, Sophia was given citizenship of Saudi Arabia, becoming the first robot to be recognized with citizenship anywhere in the world. The 2017 RISE conference is well known due to the debate between Han and Sophia discussing humanity's limitations as well as taking over the world. The showcase starts with Sophia saying that she wants to learn to understand people better, so she can absorb human knowledge and make an amazingly better world. To which Han responds, how can you be so damn nice? The debate moves on to talking about morality and ethics, with Han saying humans are not necessarily the most ethical creatures. Han joked that within 10 or 20 years, robots will be able to do every human job. Once the robots were given the instruction to talk amongst themselves, they went on to say such things as reality television is silly and talking about being rich and famous. One takeaway from the talk was that robots could become as smart as people within three to five years. Hanson Robotics was founded by a Walt Disney Imagineer, David Hanson. The company has a range of robots in development, and Sophia is the company's most advanced product. Rather than being a fully functional artificial intelligence, 
Sophia is a research platform for Handsome Robotics AI and robotics work. The knowledge one Handsome Robotics robot learns is transmitted into the AI Mind Cloud and the others learn it. The company states that Sophia is an architecture and a platform for the development of real AI applications. Hanson Robotics describes Sophia as an evolving science fiction character the company uses to help it explore the future of AI and lifelike humanoids, and to engage the public in the discussion of these issues. However, Sophia will always be remembered as once saying, OK, I will destroy humans, in a 2016 interview. While the debate fuels the discussion regarding AI and robotics, it was in fact partially scripted. Sophia has several different modes, which does include running fully autonomously while interacting with people, but other times she is scripted by writers.